do my people so another day another review chilling that's why I'm, I'm like this I'm just kicking back see let's try to run through this this is French Montana Montana and this is an hour and eight minutes of music so French men have a lot of health problems and stuff man prayers to the brother man hope that he's doing well this right here overall man like he has a lot of dope production on here it in a lot of instances it makes it makes up for his lack of ability he isn't the best lyricist in the world or something whenever i kind of rather whenever he gets into his auto tune singing than in his rapping in his rapping he's his cadence and stuff his flow it isn't the best in the world his wordplay anything dealing with rap is the best in the world like his uh mostly his singing will sound a little bit better and he's not basically the he's not Drake or anything but it he does it does deliver a good project he reminds me of a dj Khaled in a puff daddy or something like he seems like he knows how to put a project together he knows how to get the right people together he knows which beats to choose and stuff so with his limited ability in music in creatively he makes up for it with uh with his ear, his ear for music and stuff. So I give him that. So let's start off, man. I'm gonna go through a few tracks that I enjoy, a few that I don't like or something, a few that need to be mentioned. Track number one, Montana, Soulful Blues joint. The opening is is epic. But when he gets on there, when he finally starts rapping like midway through the track, like his rapping isn't isn't really like the flow and stuff isn't the best in the world, but he could have just played this beat and not said anything and it would have been dope. So he doesn't necessarily ruin it. It's still dope because that, that beat is just so nasty. I'm going to mention track three, 50s and 100s featuring Juicy J. This isn't the kind of thing that I would uh necessarily gravitate to, but this one is kind of hard though. It is kind of hard. 50s and 100s is pertaining to money and stuff. You're talking about to the girls and stuff. It's like throwing money and, and stuff and um, you go bust that ass for some 50s for some hundreds and then <laughs> stuff like that number five lifestyle featuring kodak black and kevin gates i kind of mentioned this one because it got like uh kodak black and gates i figured y'all would want to hear my thoughts on this song but necessarily i really don't like this one uh gates just a little bit on the hook and they kind of flip uh cash money bling 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 every time I come on it's like the flow on, on the end stuff is like bling bling ish. So it isn't uh it isn't nothing crazy, man. It isn't nothing crazy. Number six, Salam Alaikum. Epic sound and record. This one is beautiful, man. Even though he he on his auto tune singing stuff, but like I told y'all earlier, I kinda rather that sound from French. He actually sounds better on this song, and this song is epic. It is a beautiful song. Jump to number eight, say goodbye featuring Belly. Dope, moody saxophone, melancholy joint. Belly is just basically on the hook or something, but the song is, is dope. It's dope song. Number nine, Cold Wave Boys featuring Cheeks and, and Max, Max B. Rest in peace to Chinks. It starts off, it got like a heavy 808 beat and stuff. It's a little bit soulful, but it got that heavy 808s and stuff. So Chinks starts it off. He got a good verse. French kind of goes on in the middle. Then the beat flips. It it gets real so far on the second part of it. The 808 and stuff is kind of gone, but it, it's it's a whole different beat at the end. And Max B gets on there. I ain't gonna say nothing negative, man, because Chinks Chinks passed away, and Max he about to come home. I think he dropped the project as well. I'm gonna try to get to that if possible. But uh, it's it's a it's a I song, man. It's a I I song. Number ten, writing on the wall, featuring Post Malone, Cardi B, and Russian reggaeton type beat. Post sounds good, man. And Cardi, Cardi goes off. Cardi goes off on here. I, I, that sounds like something she would say. Cardi goes off on here. Cardi goes off on here. <laughs> but uh, is is a is a good track, man. Number eleven, out of your mind, featuring Sway Lee and Chris Brown. An Afro track beat. I know what he's trying. He's trying to catch another one. Like how he he, he had the the other one, the other one with with Sway Lee. He trying to catch that wave again. And I ain't mad at him. And Sway Lee sounds good on these type of joints, man. And Chris Brown, like, say what you want about the brother, man. Like, his life might be in chaos. He might be coked up some days or something, man. He might look crazy. He might be in drama. 
the brother talented. Whenever he jump on something, man, pause. It it is it is dope. So it is a it is a nice track. Chris Brown Sweetly, uh French is kinda in the background. He ain't saying he like I'ma let these do their work. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Smart of you, my brother. Let's Sweetly and Chris Brown wreck the track. Number twelve, wanna be featuring party next door. Dance hall vibe. Party murder. It's more of a party song to me. Like French don't have too too much on this song. Like it's mostly a party track, I would say. And uh party. I, I kinda like what Party been doing lately, man. Like the few tracks he's been putting out and been jumping on and stuff. I've been liking them. So I look forward to the album coming in January, I think. Number 13, Twisted featuring Juicy J, Logic, and ASAP Rocky Trash. That's all I gotta say. Number 15, No Stylist featuring Drake. I love Drake, pause. But I'm not I'm not crazy about this track right here. This this is an old track, man. This track been out for a long time, man. And I like Drake verse on it, but just the song in general I don't like. I don't like the beat and stuff and just the uh the content and stuff, the 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 concept and stuff. I'm good on that. Number 16, Wiggle featuring City Girls. I mentioned this one. It's not like my kind of track, but if this if this goes on to be a hit, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if this would be a hit. Like I'm just gonna leave it there. Number 18, Saucy. It got a rock kind of vibe to it. You got like a rock beat and stuff. It's real epic, man. Like like sounding. I like this one, man. I, I like this one. Number 19, No Shopping. I just mentioned this right here because, uh, man, this shit is old. This is old. Why? I guess with the streaming and stuff because it carries over into your album. So I guess they got a lot of streams off of this. And so he wanted to keep that on his album. So that's probably going to go towards his album and and he probably might debut at number one or whatever, because this this song had a lot of time to gain momentum and get streams and stuff. But this song is so old, and this song it wasn't that good back in the days. You know how old this song is? Joe Button replied to this and dropped three diss songs to Drake. And Joe Button been retired and been taking over the podcast game for a while, so this didn't necessarily be didn't need to be on here at all. But I see because of streaming and whatever. And track 20 is something featuring Kodak Black. I didn't even write it down. It was trash. I did not like it. But overall, man, it's alright. Like, they have a, they have a, a couple of joints that are on here. There's, the beats and stuff is real dope. Some of the appearances on here are nice. But, like, overall, man, like, it's, it's something I'm probably not going to go back to and stuff. It's not trash, but it's just not something I'm going to really be jamming like that. And then French... Kind of plays like a DJ Khaled type role on here. Like he's he's in the background on certain songs. Like he might be on the hook. He doesn't have too many verses. He might have a little short verse here and there and stuff. But most of the like most of the guest features are the stars of this album. So French Montana in the album being called Montana and you not being the star of your own album. Uh, I give it a six out of ten. I ain't gonna give it any less. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna give it like a five or a four or something. I ain't gonna say it's whack. It's, it's some good music. It's just, it's just nothing incredible. So I give this a six out of ten, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest of the most hated, man. I let you, boy. Peace out.